Um, today I'm going to present how I learned to network effectively using LinkedIn. Um, so here we go. So what is LinkedIn? For those of you who don't know, it's more of a professional networking site where you can basically post your resume and like accomplishments you've done and meet other people in your field of interest. And the reason I actually made my LinkedIn was because as a transfer student, it allowed me to maintain a more professional network with like my previous past, my past professors and colleagues and just students that I know, I knew but no longer really get to interact with on a day-to-day -day basis. And you might think, oh, well, I can just send the, those people an email here and there whenever I want. But I've noticed, like, personally, I always forget to do that. It just, I don't have as much of a reminder. But LinkedIn is actually really awesome. And so sometimes you'll get notifications saying, like, so-and-so got a new job today. Or so-and-so is celebrating a three-year anniversary, like work anniversary. And so it's a great way to go in and be like, hey, you know, congratulations. I've been, I was thinking about you recently. I just wanted to thank you for everything you helped me out with when I was a student in your class, blah, blah, blah. So it's just it's more intuitive, and it's just more casual. And so some of the basics of LinkedIn, for those of you who don't know, is you can create a free account. You can customize it very easily. You can add jobs or courses or awards, volunteer places, causes you care about. And one of the main things that's different um, about LinkedIn than any other social media site is you should have a professional headshot. Your profile picture should be something professional, whether you're just dressed nice or, I don't know, like mine is, I'm, I'm in an art gallery in mine, and I, I think, it may not be the most professional, but it shows a little bit about me because I am an art student, so I like that it's, I'm in an art gallery. But LinkedIn is not a place to post silly pictures of you, you know, drinking or doing something dumb or like silly selfies. That probably won't get you the job that you want. Um, and you can rearrange the order of what you want to show on your LinkedIn. For example, I've read a lot of um, studies where people say you should post your skills at the very top of your LinkedIn because that way, if not, if the person looking at your profile doesn't get all the way to the bottom of your LinkedIn account, they can still view what your top skills are. I do that for mine, but I don't think it's that impressive because not that many people have actually endorsed my skills. So the most I have on one is like six. But a lot of people have like hundreds or even like up to like, like even 50, you know, if 50 people say you have good public speaking skills, then that's pretty, that's pretty awesome. So yeah. Um, and you can see who viewed your profile which I actually kind of like because I am currently the social media and advertising intern at the Career Center. And I, when, before I even applied for the job or interviewed for the job, I had um, spoken with my current boss, but back then potential employer, and I gave her my business card, which has my LinkedIn information on it, and she actually viewed it, and I could see that she viewed it, and that was just a really nice feeling because I like my LinkedIn account, and I think it shows a lot about me. <laughs> And I got the job, so yay. <laughs> um, this is one thing where I've heard a lot of people say whether or not to include your actual resume on, like, as an image in your profile. Personally, I don't think it's the best idea because it might prevent people from actually really looking at your, the rest of your profile. They might just click on the JPEG and be like, oh, okay, it's like, this is what that person has. But it, it robs them the opportunity of really getting to know more about you. And I pulled up my LinkedIn. My LinkedIn has images accompanying all of my like job descriptions and uh, schools and whatnot. So I think this shows a little bit more than if I had just turned in a plain resume. Oops, wrong one. <laughs> okay, but um, and then I said that maybe it's personal. It's personal preference. So maybe you don't have as much time to update your LinkedIn, but you do update your. PDF version a lot, or your JPEG version a lot, or your document a lot. So maybe it's easier for you to just go to your LinkedIn account, upload it, and then if someone views your profile, they can just click on that. So it's personal preference, but I, I don't particularly support it. <laughs> Why have an account? So I found this funny meme. A lot of people think that if you have a LinkedIn account, it's because you don't like your job and you're trying to find a better job, or something like that. Um, or I've talked to a lot of people where it's like, oh, hey, do you have a LinkedIn account? And they're like, well, I don't really need one. I really like where I'm at. And that, that's great. but um, LinkedIn is a lot more than that. It's a great way to find out um, more about your industry, keep in contact with people, as I mentioned earlier, and you can also help others. Um, for example, if you love your job, but you work with a lot of students or a lot of other people who are only at HSU temporarily, then if you are uh, connected with them on LinkedIn, you can say positive things about them, give them a recommendation, and stuff like that. And then um, you shouldn't post everything you've ever done because it just it's too much to take in, and no one's really going to read all that. So it's very similar to your resume where you want to keep in mind like what's most important and what's going to show the best about you. 
And as I mentioned, you can ask people for recommendations. And it's a great opportunity to, oh, so this is actually really important. So LinkedIn is not just important to show other people about um, getting a job. But I recently volunteered to do, uh, to volunteer at a conference in New York. And one of the things that they wanted to show me, they wanted me to show them was my website or a LinkedIn account. So I, I sent in my URL to my LinkedIn and reviewed it. And they, they thought that was very helpful, as opposed to if I didn't have a LinkedIn or if I don't have a website. This way, they can still learn more about me. And I just wanted to say, I know mean, I'm short on time, so I just want to say finally that we actually have events coming up through the Career Center um, on March 8th and March 9th where we'll be taking professional headshots of people. And so you can, it's totally free. You can come by and learn more about LinkedIn and how to present yourself professionally. And if you have any questions, you can contact me later when we take a break. And I'm very glad to answer any questions. Thank you so much.